So I'm very happy and glad that I, uh, I'm the, the lucky one as NATO Secretary General to cut the ribbon in the presence, of course, of, of General Jones um, secure to show uh, that NATO is a political military organization and that we can only reach our goals by working together as closely as possible. Not on behalf of us, on behalf of NATO, uh, or on behalf of the coalition, or on behalf of you, but on behalf of the Iraqi people. And more, more, more specifically, on behalf of the Iraqi security institutions and armed forces. Because that's what it's all about. That is why the coalition came here, and that is why NATO has taken on this very important training mission. Thank you. And we're uh, very excited to be uh, at the tip of the spear, so to speak, in order to uh, bring about this um, tremendous uh, change in the Iraqi military structure and to provide, to help provide a, a safe and secure environment for the future generations of Iraqis as uh, this nation uh, finds its place uh, among the family of nations in the, in, the, in the just and proper way that it deserves to be. Just, uh, exactly how we can help uh, uh, move this mission along as quickly as possible. Thank you. Sir, if I could, what I'd like to do is actually have everyone just... Okay. First of all, it, 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 it seems to me important that this country will have the elections at, at the end of January. Uh, that, that's, that's, that's point number one. Uh, because that's, 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 of course, what the training is, 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 is all about. To see the political process in this country developing, to see the people taking their fate into, into, into their own hands. Uh, NATO is doing this, of course. Uh, the job NATO is doing. And what to do, uh, what do you want intend to do with it? 